Welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming June and she turned to this man of honor to see if I could create a beautiful but fringe chandelier to go above her cake table. She sent me these photos for inspiration so I turned to Pinterest. Since this will be a candlelight evening wedding I started searching and I came across these beautiful but unique chandeliers that are very long. If you would like to find out what I created for this evening wedding just continue watching. To start I used cardboard and I cut it to 12 by 12 inches. Next I'll be using a ruler and marker and I'll start drawing lines and I'll use the ruler width as my guideline 1 inch and I'll start drawing it until I get into the center and I'll have 3 squares. After I'm satisfied with my placements of the lines, I'll use a box cutter and start cutting out the squares. Next I'll be gluing craft sticks for support and you may glue as many as you like. Next I'll be using one 32 inch bamboo skewer and I'll place markings 3 inches apart. I'll be using a dog nail trimmer to place it on the lines and cut. I find that using a dog nail trimmer I get precise and clean cuts. Next I'll be using a generous amount of hot glue to apply the cut skewers on all four inner corners. Once I was done I'll go back with my strongest adhesive glue for extra hole and I'll keep repeating the same steps. I will have a complete list of all items used in the description bar below.
Next, I'll be using a silver Sharpie and black foam board, and I'll start tracing lines going down the same length as the foam board, and I'll use the width as the ruler as well until I end up with four lines. I'll be using a box cutter to cut in between the lines. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms for upcoming DIYs and giveaways. Once I was done cutting my strips, I'll be cutting it to size, to the edge of the base, and then I'll be using hot glue to apply. I find it easy to apply, just apply hot glue on the edges of the foam board. I also cut to size and glue four bamboo skewers for the lighting cord. Next I'll spray paint the entire fixture with metallic silver. Next I'll be using one row and a half of bling wrap and I'll be cutting it to size on each tier and applying by using hot glue. I'll be keeping the same width from the bling wrap, the only difference is the length. Once I was done gluing the bling wrap to the first two tiers only, I'll start cutting it into strips right up to the edge, repeating the same steps going all the way around. For the bottom tier, I'll be repeating the same steps, but this time they will be 10 inches long. Next, I'll be gluing large assorted gems and I'll be gluing them on the outer edge of the top tier. Next, I'll be using a lighting cord and one non-heatable light bulb. I took two 4x4 pieces of cardboard and glued them together and then I'll cut a slit right up to the center to slide the cord right through. And this part is simple, just slide the cord right through the bottom, all the way up to the top, pull the cord, and then glue in place. And here is the finished look. I have to say, for me being the man of honor in her wedding, and my best friend, the bride, requesting a glamour chandelier, I think I fulfill her request. This is so glam, so chic, and so elegant. This is a very beautiful and elegant chandelier to be placed above a cake table for a wedding or any elegant event or in your home. If you are that glamorous bling queen or king, this is the perfect chandelier for you.
This was a very inexpensive chandelier to create and the most I spent was on the bling wrap and the lighting. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY as much as I enjoy making it. Now don't forget I post new DIY videos every week. Subscribe if you haven't and like and share with family and friends. Comment if you wish and click the notification bell for more upcoming future videos. See you soon.